Our group consists of Ladies and gentlemen As a recap, we are given this set of materials and we are tasked to build a robot which can navigate through this obstacle course and deliver a ping pong ball over the wall. In tutorial 1, we built our template robot and it was clear that there are many areas for improvements. We realised the diameter of the wheel was almost as high as the first bump, so there was a need to increase the wheel size. Secondly, the cardboard material made the movement of the robot very irregular and bumpy. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Stop it! Get some help! By the second tutorial, we were able to laser cut and test on wheels with much larger diameters, producing our first prototype with two motors. However, the wheels were too slippery, so we attached some anti-slip mats to increase the friction between the wheels and the area in contact. Continuing our prototype outside of tutorial, we removed the cardboard chalices as it was rubbing against the wheels, but we now have to hold the sensor and the battery manually. We eventually moved on from this prototype because the narrow distance between the wheels made our robot fall on its sides easily, which is a major problem. Fast forward to tutorial 4, our robot looks very much different as we added two more motors to balance the weight, and a cardboard chalices with dimensions just enough to fit all the components of the robot. For our throwing mechanism, we went for the catapult design as it is more straightforward to implement. We just have to attach the servo to an ice cream stick which rests on the chalices. It also saves more space as compared to a launcher where we would probably need to consider expanding our chalices. Okay, so the weight here seems to be concentrated at the front after attaching the catapult. We resolve the issue by simply shifting the components towards the back to redistribute the weight. Oh my god! Wow! Bruh. Wait a minute! Who are you? Here it comes! Almost there! <laughs> In the final two weeks, we tried to fine-tune our robot by removing one front motor to reduce its weight. This is how our final circuit diagram looks like with three motors. We also tried to increase the voltage to 9 volts for our robot to travel faster and decrease the delay at the wall before reversing to ensure that it can complete the obstacle course within 30 seconds, but our robot just starts to not cooperate. <laughs> Okay. We concluded that there must be some connection errors or loose connections around the battery or wires because our robot was just not working consistently. We decided to request for a battery cover replacement and this is how our final attempt went before the last tutorial. So on the day of the graded run, we finally found the cause for the inconsistency of our robot. Our hitch bridge was partially damaged. No, 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 they're selling the club. Hang on. They're there. They don't, they're selling the club. No, but even if they don't go, Liverpool have had owners and the club have won absolutely haven't been clever in the transfer market. And after swapping out the hitch bridge, we went for our graded run.